Hi, this is Jody from Teachtopia TV with a brief tutorial on how to find the mode in a set of numbers. Now, finding the mode is a very important part of looking at numbers. Just like how you want to find the mean, median, and range, you also need to find the mode. And that mode refers to frequency, how often a one number occurs within a given set or within a given set is there one number or two numbers that occur more frequently than others or most frequently than others. So let me go ahead and give you a hopefully rather clear example. I'm going to be working with the same set of numbers I was using for the um, mean and range um, tutorials, previous tutorials. But let me go ahead and give you a set of numbers. Five, three, two, three, and two. Now the first thing you need to do when you're given a set of numbers and you have to find either the mean, median, mode, or range is you have to put them in order. And that is in sequence from least to greatest. So we're finding the mode here. Now some of you might say, well, can't we find the mode without putting it in order from least to greatest? And the, the, the answer is yes, you could. Um, but for clarity and to make sure you really see the numbers right, um, as a practice, you're supposed to put them in um, order from least to greatest. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so I'm thinking what number goes first. I think it should be a 2, followed by another 2, followed by a 3, 3, and 5. There are five numbers in this set. There are five numbers in this set. We're double checking. There's a two. There's a two. There's a three. There's a three. There's a five. Okay. Yay. Now, just to make certain that we're only going to work with that bottom set of numbers, even though it's the same set of numbers, and we're not going to think that there's ten numbers that we're working with, I'm going to put a little line through here, a few lines through that. Hopefully that doesn't confuse you, but rather makes you focus on the numbers right here. Now, so we have two, two, three, three, five. Uh oh. You're going to notice right away that two occurs more than once and three occurs more than once. Five does not occur more than once. So, yet we, yet we don't have one number that stands out as occurring more than any other number. So, in this case, and this is allowed, we have two modes. So, let's go ahead and write the modes are 2 and 3. Okay, for this particular problem, we have two modes, and that's 2 and 3. Okay, this was Jody from Teachtopia TV. You can find all of our educational videos at teachtopia.com as well as um, YouTube and other video sharing sites. Thank you.